Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Thirsty Hour. That's cute. I'm your host, Debs Michael, and before we start, as always, grab your juice, grab your water, grab your protein shake, grab a glass of wine, because in this episode, we're going to get really, really thirsty. Let's get excited. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about something, something juicy, something with that, the extra oomph. We're gonna be talking about our types in men, and you're like, what types in men? Our? Who's the other guest here? <laughs> well, I'd like to gladly introduce y'all to my sister, assistant, mother, child, sister-in-law, also my husband. Uh, Evelyn Jackson. Yes, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We're sorry, sorry, sorry. This is my sister, Rebecca. That's the first time you used my full name. Ah, gosh, she's on camera. Yeah, for the first time. I forced her. <laughs> well, you do that. You gotta stop with your pimpy ways, eh? I don't know if you can tell by the amount of enthusiasm <laughs> I have in that intro. I'm literally so excited for this episode because not only am I talking my favorite topic. <laughs> men <laughs> <laughs> i'm talking about with my sister like ugh, that's really eating down real bad today's episode we are going to get into our guilty pleasures when it comes to our types things we would rather keep to ourselves keep it in your pants santiago oh that's exactly where it's going we're also going to get into a little bit of rizzing a little bit of a uh, boyfriend asmr we're going to get into everything okay, okay. specifically our types, why our types are our types, and maybe how they're evolving. Okay. How they've gotten better, how they've gotten worse. I can get down with that. Oh, she can get down with it, y'all. And it's gonna make this episode so exciting is because Bex and I have very opposite types. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, my head, I mean my brain has grown. I'm 25, so everything's developed up here. So my taste is, you know, a little bit more evolved. Some little wee bibs. Okay, at the end of this video, y'all can comment who has the better type or which type y'all can gravitate towards. I know mine. Get ahead of time. You can just say me. Like, I don't, we don't have to wait till the end of the episode. You know mine is better. I see sightings of the Lulu. I don't know what it was talking about, y'all. But uh, mm -hmm. before we get into our types, what we like, what we don't like, what gets us going, da -da -da -da. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to read some of yours, guys. It's not mm -hmm. an episode if I'm not asking for y'all's input because y'all y'all bring the sauce y'all bring the juice so got me interested right let me see and y'all love to traumatize me so let's see how y'all do that today <laughs> i put on my story i was like tell me about your your type but not just your, your typical type i wanted to know your like guilty pleasure type what is something that you don't usually go for okay but because sometimes people have that Maybe it's that extra characteristic. Maybe it's a profession. Maybe it's a little something. A little something. Like, I'd be like, oh, yeah. okay. okay. But okay. You're, not, you're not exactly proud of it. But at the same time, when you see it, you do a little. Daddy the grand Daddy, I want it messed up. <laughs> a little shimmy. A little shimmy. A little, mm. I honestly did not know how to word it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Literally. Because I'd be having those two. But before I get into oh, I'm that, curious about yours. Okay, I'm let's, let's do this one. Yours. Yours. Shall I go first? Go. Should, do you want to pick Are you one? reading all of them? I can't read. Fair. You I don't got your glasses on. <laughs> my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Let's do this first one. So I love guys who are losers and are like shy and awkward. Something about it is so. <laughs> and then in brackets, it says even better if they're medium ugly. I heard about the medium ugly. Mm -hmm. We have a friend. She loves her medium ugly guys. I she's like, she showed me a picture and I have to be like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I, oh. But I understand medium. Everything else, loser. You don't get that. Shy. Is it like what about it? I can, <laughs> I can sympathize. I find that in most situations, I'm more of like the outgoing one. I tend to love like a a little introvert. Oh, a shy girl. Oh, shy. Oh, okay, I okay. Now I see boy. it. Now I see it in my head. I, I think know. I got stuck on the losers. I was like. The loser part? <laughs> okay. Even that, I'm like, it's kind of hard. They got a little come up story. I'm not going to judge your journey. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And they just be on their, like, they do their own thing. Like, I don't like when people are doing too much. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it, I'm the star of the show. You know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. IDK, but I like white boys. 
mainly the ones with buzz cuts or just straight ass hair. I don't know why I find them so attractive, but OMG, they make me weak on God. I feel like a little Eminem. <laughs> I was gonna say it's giving Eminem. It's giving His palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Like spaghetti. okay, Eminem. Look, if you had mom spaghetti, the buzz cut. I'm thinking like a bad boy looking mm-hmm. thing. I know there's a movie that that this person saw and was like, ooh. From now on, times have changed. I am changed. The yeah. straight hair was just like. Straight like a Edna Bob, like, like Lord Farquaad. You love a <laughs> you love a Farquaad moment. I had an era in high school where I loved buzz cut. I think I just associated buzz cut with bad boy. So okay. anytime I saw some of the buzz cut, I'm like, oh girl, I need you over here. But most times it it's like a little phase, and then you kind of get over it. Honestly, I never I never stepped into that room with the, the bus cut. cut no it just looks like you should make up your mind to be bald or just like uh, stop you know they're not gonna go bald so. you could if you want to <laughs> no but bus cuts can be kind of like oh like why did you take your hair away like <laughs> <laughs> no it's so like all y'all have read too many books for your yn it's the book it's have the done it. books because i'm like you have to be a little crazy to do that so i'm like okay oh, sure you're a little insane <laughs> okay okay um let's see My type, I would say, is when they're genuinely so toxic and I have to fight for their attention. No. Okay. Okay. Some guys, they just like problems, not peace. And some girls are like, they're about it. They're about it. That's true. I get that. I have so many friends like this. I'm not. I like peace. I don't like problems. So I get this. I I mean, fight. You know, why don't you text me? I don't know about, about the fighting for their attention. I think I get too like... I wouldn't say I'm. Uh, let me be you would end up biting them. Yeah, I'm a piranha. Yeah, so I'd probably. Eat them. <laughs> like the chase is fun for a little bit, you know, like getting their attention, trying to like get a little eye contact in there. But girl, you got maybe about twenty four to forty eight hours, and if I'm still chasing and fighting for attention after that, mm-mm, it's the no for me. So I don't know if that would be my guilty pleasure. I guess there's always something to do when they're so toxic, you know? Mm-hmm. Like a text, you have to re- like over analyze the text. That is stressful. Y'all want to be stressed out so bad. Just have 10 kids. If y'all want to be that stressed <laughs> instead of dealing with a toxic nah, man. I guess they bored. They just, they want something to do. Like, y'all bored. Okay. It's like, I'm off, I gotta go. <laughs> this next one is women with huge foreheads. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she look at me? Wait, stop. Ah, oh. ah. Don't put that in that <laughs> Beat me up. I don't beat her. Wait, stop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she went like this, y'all. She said for big forehead, she goes. Why did she looking. do that? I was observing your forehead. It's cute. Okay. Because that's shady. It wasn't. So that anyway, is so, so shady. So this person said woman with you. What's your take on that? You're so annoying. <laughs> that is so shady. Sorry, boom boom. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's okay. Rock it. Rihanna yeah. does it. You can do it too. So. Big and shiny. Try to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Honestly, somebody likes you. Yeah. <laughs> somebody likes. There's you. There's that Jake Hall lyric, and it's like, oh, go ahead, and nothing better than a big forehead. I guess there's. I, I don't know. Nah, go ahead. <laughs> ain't nothing better than a pretty big forehead. That's like the I'll lyric for the big forehead community. Y'all know the J. Cole lyric. Do we know it? It's a J. Cole song, and he's just like, ain't nothing better than a big forehead. Oh, please. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. I believe you. I believe you. That's all I got. Listen, I haven't heard that's it. a big forehead girl anthem. If you know it, you know it. I guess there's more, more mass to kiss. I'm seeing where this could work. Okay. This is cute. This next one is Aww. I love a good ginger. Okay. Like everyone be hating on them, but they're so unique and they always have the cutest face and I just want to swoop. Hi. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. They're cute. Gingers be fine. <laughs> oh, bro. All mm-hmm. of them. They cute. Learn from high school. That ginger. Oh, him? Mm-hmm. For you? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one. I don't know what it is. Gingers give me like, okay, I know they're like Irish and white, but they're giving me like POC. Like, I just <laughs> I just know in their past life, gingers were like, they're a little blacky. Let me add a little bit of spice. Like, I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're Maybe not black, but like gingers are so all about like, them. I get it. Hmm, I get it. I love that breed. I just oh. like when you said, I love a good ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love a, a good, good ginger. ginger. I get this. I get this. Gingers are vibe. They're so fun. Mm-hmm. When you find a good one, oh, they be good. <laughs> I don't know what Someone it is. got them little freckles going yes. on. So, and it's so like, cute. Why is your hair orange? Get over here. <laughs> like, I'm actually so sick of you. Just hop in Auburn my face. head. I get yeah. it. I like it. Have you ever had a crush on a ginger? I don't think I've ever. No, I never interacted with them. They gonna before. change your life. I seen them and I'm like, I seen you and I like you. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a festival in I don't know if it's in Ireland, but it's like it's like a ginger festival where they like all the gingers come and hang out. What day? I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm going shopping. Uh, our next confession is mullet mustache combo like omg i can't explain it but if you have a mullet and a mustache you're coming with me no matter what you look like now that last sentence not too much. <laughs> no matter what they look like they gonna pop up looking I mean, like it makes sense everyone's like you're coming with me now mullet and mustache i'm trying to think of some all i can think of is hockey players i'm thinking like the 80s with the mullet mustache oh. like the cut off shirts and like the muscles Oh, I got the whole. You're like, thinking of body. Down, down. I got the whole. <laughs> I'm not saying this is my type. I just know what they're Mullet looking mustache for. Mustache combo. There has yeah. to be somebody on TikTok or Instagram that looks like that. I th- I'm all, all I'm thinking of is Curtis Connor. Do you know who that is? No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> got a mullet and a mustache, but the rest, I don't know. It, it's, it's a look. If it's your thing, on the right face, I'm sure I could it be could. done. Yeah. Want to read this one? Okay. Short ass white guys. I swear to God. They be freaking mwah. <laughs> I'm black and I'm tall. Oh. But something about them or him. Trust me. I have a good reason for mine. He's only. <laughs> He's the, the only one. one that likes me back. Oh, girl. Short white boys. I see. Short white boys. I see it. I see it. Short kings. Usually short guys are a lot, like, they have a lot more personality. So, me personally, if somebody has a good enough personality, I'll go for it. But I love the justification. I'm black and I'm tall. I know. I was going to say, the fact that you're black and tall. 4K. Yeah. It's okay. She has her reasoning. It's all good. Yeah. This last one's going to be interesting. (laughs) Dominant guys. Like, not the toxic ones, but the ones who are like, sit the fuck down or lets me argue with them and if i were to walk away they would pull me back in i know they read some books like this because you... i've been there <laughs> oh you're there right now i'm not there right now you i've are. evolved but i remember when i was 14 15 this is me i was like got me looking so crazy hey, right now, now. <laughs> i, was I... In love this trope bro sit back down i am sad you're sad i'm sad <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, I'm done with it. the conversation now. <laughs> I get it. I do get it. But this, honestly, I promise you, actually, I don't know how old this person is, but this might likely evolve to being like, I like a dominant guy, but, you know, I don't have to. Yeah. Like but I get it. I, I get mean, it. This just sounds like you read it's a just lot like the, of books. being told what to do, you know? Sit down. Okay. No. Tell don't tell me what to do. You don't own me. You I would. hate that. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like the sub. Dummy. Stop! <laughs> You're so annoying. Dummy. Stop! I, you are. That's I've, okay. I've read the books. I've read the Wattpads. And I've listened to the that whole... Actually, no. It said not the toxic one. They just do this. Sit down. Like, ew, shut up. Like, I don't know. I, maybe it's overplayed. but like, I'm willing to sit down. I don't care. I guess. I will admit the last part where it's like... If I were to walk away, they pull you back in. Like, <laughs> they want to work it out. Yeah, I do, I do like that. Maybe that's like the part I can get with. But girl, tell me to sit down. Who are you? <laughs> I'll tell you to sit down. <laughs> sit the f- down. You think it's funny to... <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, those were delightful. It was I, fun. I, it was fun. Mm-hmm. I can't say I agree with all of them, but I will say, you know, some of them... <laughs> <laughs> Someone that I can get behind. Just, just a little. That redhead one. For the most part, I understand where they're coming from. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I do. The forehead one, too. <laughs> Stop looking at my forehead. Since we just read some of your guys's Miss Guest, Miss Becky, <gasps> care to share? Oh, it's time for me. It's yeah, my turn. Yeah, it is time for you. It's like, is it like welcome the, to the, welcome guilty to the couch. pleasure? 
I mean, I want to hear your guilty pleasure, from you, to be honest. Like, I feel like I feel like you're just going to be absolutely rancid. So I just want to know. <laughs> it's not even a guilty pleasure, though. It's not. What is it? It's more of, like, survival purposes. I know it sounds what? weird. Okay. 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 When I was younger, grade three, no, nah, grade, like, four to eight, I was a little girl. And I like skinny guys. And that's fine. I, that's cool. <laughs> but then I got older and I thought, what if a burglar came into the house? I looked at the both of us. The burglar would come for me first because they'd be like, I'm going to exert more energy to fight her and then him afterwards. So I thought, I'm going to get with a bigger guy. <laughs> so they're going to fight him first. And I'm so <laughs> thinking about this at I 10 yes i was just also it was just like i was like i'm much like i'm big i just want a bigger guy I'm okay like, I, want, I want piggybacks okay i want to be held up okay i've heard i honestly i've heard if we're in a survival moment i'm just saying if a burglar came and came to us <laughs> they fight me first i'm like as you should because i will throw one down so you want a big boy i want a big boy so is that your guilty pleasure it's is that just guilty pleasure. that's your it's type just, it is what it is it still is right yeah I feel like, honestly, I feel like at this point now that I'm older, for the most part, I go for, like, vibes. Like, if we're... Yeah. If we're compatible, we're compatible. Because I, I remember having types. Like... Yeah. I low-key, I like the hockey boys. It's all about the flow. And the snow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Heavenly Father, I just love the hockey her boys. I did. And until I went into their change room, I'm like, something stinks in here. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta go. Like, after yeah. a while, like, something, my, 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 my nose, my nostril cleared it up. I just didn't like them like that anymore. Thank God. But like, frat boys too. Hello darkness, my old friend. University, I went through, I was like, okay, y'all are, y'all are cute. I guess. I can see why each type works and why it's attractive. So I feel like at this point now, I'm like, I just like, I like vibes. Like, if they're cute, they're cute. Uh, People who you say know, they go for vibes. That's what happens when the frontal lobe just develops. You know, You're a, say. Ever since she turned 25, y'all, she's like, <laughs> my frontal lobe has developed. I'm better than you. Girl, she's yapping. Bro is just yapping, 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 yap, 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 yap. Whatever. All I, I'm saying, or, well, man, thank you for asking. <laughs> my type. Ugh, it's changed so much. It does change. It's evolved. My frontal lobe is evolving so much. I would say when I was younger, listen, I didn't do the whole burglar uh, forced entry thing. I had to think thing. about these things. Man. I don't know why you're thinking about survival at the I don't know. Age I of... think it was like the dystopian books. <sighs> I was like, girl, get up off that Hunger Games. <laughs> sorry. I was like, I need a PETA. <laughs> oh. PETA's a big boy. PETA was a submissive boy, though. I thought you wanted a dominant one, like a big... A big, like muscular. So you want big submissive guys? No, I just want muscular. It doesn't even matter. Like the submissive, that's like details. That's later. Let's get into the details then. You're saying there's such general <laughs> surface level things. Like, I'm nervous. I want to see how far you can get. Girl, get as far as you need to. I I'll go first if that's what's going to help you. Okay. On the topic of Pete Malak, I've actually been like really into Hunger Games and Dystopian recently. Okay. So it was, a good, it was a good era. <laughs> it is. It needs to come back. Oh, man. I mean, they kind of went overboard at first, but like, I love it. But it's good. It's good. I miss it. I like the like, I think I kind of mentioned this earlier. Like, I think because my personality is so overbearing and, and a little irritating at times, like I can just like talk a lot and I feel like I would want somebody kind of the opposite of me. I don't, so shy? I don't like the whole like opposite to tracks. Cause like sometimes it's like, no, sometimes when you're on that same wavelength, that's what is more compatible. But for me, <laughs> me personally, I think I tend to gravitate more towards the quieter, that makes more sense. shy. You when you were young, you were a chaser. Yeah. Chase I think voice. my first crush was like the quietest kid in class, which I don't, it was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. It's kind of good. And it's still kind of is mm -hmm. i would say like i feel like when i'm in a room and there's like or even if you're at a party or like you're in a group of guys and everybody's just doing their own thing i'm like scanning i'm like who is shutting their mouth the most you <laughs> Get over mm. here, let's talk. i don't know what it is though i i don't know if it's the whole opposite attract or i just kind of assume that they're more like i think it's the opposite opposites attract but also for you i feel like you want to like investigate and like know what they're about the mysterious bit of them like Ew, what are you doing what's mysterious. up like, you like to dig you like i to do dig. like to dig and if a guy's already out there showing personality you're like oh, yeah you're bored i feel like you i get bored next. easy that's not, well, 
Yeah. yeah. And I also think that like when it comes to since we're on the topic of like dominant, submissive, uh, I would probably go more for like the latter. The submissive? <laughs> oh, I know. No, cause Girl, like, I know. Like, I don't understand how why people want like like an alpha get over here babe sit on the couch like okay no no but like there's <laughs> stipulations okay what okay 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 so for me you know i work i do so much like i'm i'm already doing so much in the day my mind's always going to have a guy just be like come here oh. like, <laughs> you I'm just want to shut off your brain oh yes i've heard that but then i have to be like tied up a little bit whoa <laughs> <laughs> whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay. Down, down. But that doesn't mean I can't switch. I can be like, sit down. <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't do that again. Please, no, 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 no. Also, I think it does come with her personality. Because if someone were to be like, I remember like, remember that guy when I was like parking weird and someone was like, who taught you how to drive? And I was like, okay. You literally like turn on your window, like, excuse me? And you like were like yeah. defending me. I'm like, I feel like it comes with your personality too. Like, you're very. You're a defender. I remember that. The guy was trying to cuss you. Yeah, we were literally trying to reverse park, and this guy drove by like, learn, where did you learn how to drive? And Bex is like, <laughs> okay, Lynn. I turn up with him like, don't ever talk to her like that again. I'm not gonna say what I said, but like, don't talk to my sister like that. Like, yeah. ew. Yeah. I hate like people who just try to come and tell you what to do. Like, no, so no, 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 no. There we no, go. No. See, that can, that, that, that can translate to like intimacy too. For me, I could work on defending myself a little more, but hmm. to have a guy just be like, over there, I'd be like, let's go. Oh. <laughs> so excited. You want to be thrown oh, around. I can't wait. So do you think you want the opposite of your personality then? Yes. But then also, it's like, what is the opposite of my personality though? I don't know. Because, I mean, I would say you're more like, you're extroverted in a way. I you're am. outgoing. Because like, I remember in high school too, I used to have like, the biggest crush on like musical guys were like on my like best friend. I was like, we can be best friends to lovers until I found out they it was never gonna be me. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Cause I'll be down to have someone like my personality because like it's just vibes. Like, I feel vibing. like the types of guys that you've <laughs> liked in the past have not been like you whatsoever. Yeah. Like maybe in high school, like you fell for the musical, the theater kid. <sighs> Gotta me a theater kid. But this because so you happy. were a theater kid, but like your most recent one, he was like tall dominant in a way what can i say as long as like i'm just not trying to be like you know thrown for any surprises because like first of all if you're dominant it's fine it's fine my thing i don't do physical touch like that so if you're out here dominant and like grab my you, side you, you, for drives oh, i'd be no. like please don't do this or they're actually like just like very handsy oh. i'd ask for like permission first but like yeah just no surprises like that but otherwise i'm fine do you think your type is going to evolve in the it future could. anytime it's soon? could i can go for like a like an emo guy we'll see <laughs> that emo boy cut my life into pieces <laughs> This is my last resort. Suffocation. I, I can do it. If he's a little dummy there, I can do it, man. All I want is an emo girl. I fell in love with an emo girl. Huh. I missed a bright side. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> you can do it. I just, kid? I don't know. I feel like my type is going to stay the same. I can't see it changing. What did you even mention what your type is? I did. A sub, like a, is no, like an aesthetic like with it or no? Physically taller than me. Okay. You know, ethnicity wise, I really don't care. Like, I feel like I that's don't such a top. Like, everybody's always like, what's your type? Like, do you like white boys or da da da? But I like, don't care. I really don't care. Half the time, it's like whoever likes me is like, yeah. Oh, as long as like chance. there's no extra, like, as long as I'm not teaching them too much. Yeah. Like, if I decide to wear a wig one day and you're like, is that your hair? I'd be like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's not. not. Like, really, it's not. I really don't want to teach you. I'm not. Like, <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah. It's fine. So we've talked about our types in men and mm -hmm. what we like and what we don't like. But on the other side of it, what do you do when, you, when you're not someone's type? Ah, that's a good old question. Yeah, yeah. the good old question. Has that happened to you before? Oh, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> it's the way it is. It is what it is. <laughs> 
like the only thing to do is just keep like move on like keep it pushing keep it going really? yeah i guess it's like how you find out because like it's how you find out with your situation when you're on instagram you're like oh i'm not this person's type oh that's true and like you guys were like mid conversation like what do i do like yeah. do I just break it off yeah Or you find out like from the initial conversation, you're like, you're not my type. You're like, true. Yeah. Okay, move on. I feel like it would hurt a lot more. Like I would rather someone just tell me that I'm not their type rather than me going through their entire following list because I'm a little <laughs> Cause you wish. I'm a little a little cuckoo. A little cuckoo. <laughs> a little no, crazy. that's not even cuckoo. That's that's just a You're just investigating. Just a girl. You're yeah. doing some recon. I, Is that the word? Yeah. I'd rather just have them tell me flat out. When you figure out that you're not their type by doing your own investigation, it's mm-hmm. kind of like, what am I supposed to do now? I haven't experienced that. So like I feel like have your you had best somebody bet. tell you? The, yeah. To your face? That, yeah. What do you do? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I actually have. But I think honestly, like looking back, I wish I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'm not gonna be everyone's type. Like, yeah, it's good to like, yo, in this world, you don't have to be the it girl for everybody. Just yeah. like yourself, and it's important not to change, like not to change yourself into that person's type. Yeah, you know, like what if you notice that you know you go on Instagram, you're like, oh, this guy, it doesn't look like he likes my type. So let me change it. Let me be an anime girl and like look at every anime show and be like did you see yeah. Bakugan <laughs> <laughs> trying to turn into somebody else's type is no <sighs> don't and it's hard because like no, you I'm really like the guy it. and like you're like if I do this like you'll you go into your own fantasies and be like if I change myself they'll like me and they probably don't at the end of the day <laughs> that's like, true dang. but yeah I think obviously when it comes when you find out you're not someone's type and you get get that initial rejection it's never fun so like Mm -mm. deal with that don't suppress it do not suppress it (laughs) but like you know eventually just figure out what what you like about yourself yeah who are you you know i like what you say you're not gonna be everybody's type that's something i've I've learned (laughs) average girl in the world and that's awesome yeah life is good when you average that's Ah, true it's beautiful less stress sometimes i like when i'm not somebody's type or when, to prove them wrong or something? Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. Sorry. You're such a Disney original film. It's so fun. You're not my type. I'll show you. No, because sometimes. What's, where's your musical number? <laughs> I'm not the one. No, <laughs> but yeah. I'll be the one. I'm just saying. You're so off. Uh, sometimes people I would be like, I'm going to go take a nap. You're out here like, I'll show you. I'll show. No, literally, I will show you. You have your musical number. Like, he rejected me. <laughs> but I'll show you. No. Come on. It's fun. Like, you figure out. Or sometimes you don't even have to do your investigation. Sometimes you just can tell by somebody's track record that you're not their typical type but then what are you gonna drop in them? my mind i'm like oh she's that. sweet but she's psycho <laughs> no and it, i feel like with some people from my past oh they need to learn a lesson <laughs> so i'm just saying wow. i get it i think honestly if you have your own like personal i didn't even say glow up but like if you become confident in your own self and like they kind of like they're gonna see that you know yeah. and maybe maybe later on you realize i don't even like them they ain't even my type I don't know. That's true. But I get it. There definitely was a time where I was just like, I'll show you. You don't like me? Give me a week. Yeah. And then you get bored. But the older I get, the less energy I have to prove you wrong. Yeah, no, it's too much work. Ah, oh, girl, I'm, I'm, me mom's in her 80s. And if you Whatever. don't like me, I'm moving on to your brother or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving on of to course, your friend. Of course. Like in high school, I would be like, ooh, like, I want to chase you for a few months. If you don't like me now, or you're not gonna like me tomorrow <laughs> let me That's move okay. on to your dad or something Honestly, or you can be friends because sometimes people don't realize that they are into you until it's well not too late but like later down the road there but who knows i get it why don't we go through some classic tops mm-hmm. in men and see we should do like a little a little swipe or no swipe or like a into it not into it moment so okay. we have the very classic when i think of my type in men this is this is like the standard i think of or the okay. first one okay. which is of course the bad boy type ah uh, yes the classic type if i saw this on hinge and i saw like he's given the bad boy persona <laughs> would i swipe <laughs> you know for stress reasons i'd be like Ooh. no <laughs> honestly no i'd be tempted I yeah think i'd swipe for fun just to see where it goes yeah. you know <laughs> Bad I like, boys are fun. It's like a little chaos. Yeah. It's fun. A little crazy. It's not crazy. Like there, sometimes you want problems that day, not peace. You know? Yeah. I think I like bad boys in books, like on paper. I was going to say, like, this is always like, maybe I can change him. The, honestly, bad boys just look like stress. And the whole, <laughs> he'll change. He's so mean to you. At the end, you have gray hairs. You're out here, like, like crawling on the ground to get his attention. You're like, you know what? You helped me. 
you saved my cat and that no. i'm gonna be nice to you now girl the bat boys are stressful <laughs> like i can't want to be grayed out stress in the brat no i'm not doing <laughs> yeah. that but i get it honestly i would be i would be lying if i say i wouldn't swipe so here we go fair that's why i guess the next typical boy type <laughs> is the emo musician i totally would i would i love I the would. contrast i love it i love I it lo- y'all I, lo- I am just in the car and all of a sudden i hear some next type of on holiday i would love it i'm here for it i'm like yo i meant to dream and yeah death i don't song. know like i a part of me had that little air when I was younger. I'm like, imagine being like a musician's girlfriend, like backstage and like going on tour with them. I'm like, wait, I could be a little girl. I can be a little boot thing. It'd be fun. Actually, the musician bit. The musician bit is hot. It's so hot. It's hot, I guess. Like they just play instruments. Like that is so <laughs> You fun. play instruments? <laughs> no, it's fun. You're so cruel. L- literally. Like, what do you mean you plan instruments? I had a whole like guitar phase. Like I wanted a boy that played guitar. That's never like been a draw to me. I've, I haven't been like, oh my gosh, you play the drums? Come here. Really? No. Ooh, no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just saying, like, when I hear that guy say piano, ugh, I just love when they're like musically oh, instruments. I get it. I get it. You want a singer? You want yes. someone that can hit like a high yes. C7 note or something? Yep. 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 Girl. That's true. I want to hear that. Like, I hear me that blame is like. Oh, oh, you're yeah. such a theater <laughs> kid. Help I'm hearing her. songs. <laughs> okay. The next, uh, the next type is the jock, which I'm sure we have encountered in our lives. We have, yeah, that's what. Me person, you're swiping on that. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I, I, they usually are real big, they're real muscular. Ugh, y'all, this big argument. You just love something you big. Think about the details. Girl. You're not thinking about the bigger picture. Oh. You're not thinking about the bigger picture. As long as they have <laughs> the nice picture pictures. picture is big. I'm sorry, enough. as long as their pictures aren't creepy, because I know, I'm again, I'm picturing the hinge thing. As long as their pictures aren't some freaky deek. Like some guys want to take pictures on hinge. It's scary. Like some, some weird pics you gotta like go. That? But if they jocks and like they at the gym and they you're do. just thinking about the body <laughs> vex you're thinking about a big man like stop thinking big why not go bigger go home <laughs> oh don't say that please <laughs> <laughs> me personally wait so you're sweat you're like yes i'll, I'll i can get into that i can be my time. yeah yuck <laughs> that <Yuck. laughs> me personally but it's a no why? the jock <laughs> no <laughs> Maybe I just have like the perception of the, like the movie jock though like yeah I'm gonna do that like it's ugh, they're s- too loud you're talking too much like I honestly can't do it now in my opinion and like yes they're big but I, I can care less for like the bigness of them <laughs> and, like, uh, some people. <laughs> I'm here for it I'm here for it I guess Sorry. I guess I guess it's all okay as long as the jock because like again if you're thinking about the movies and the jock trope they usually talk like they're in the third grade they're usually so like shallow and, and a little they have shallow no that part that would hurt my brain a little bit yeah. just a little but still but that's... the bigness oh, i, I get that anyways i want like the next one okay fair the next one is the artsy comedian i want to laugh give me a good laugh give okay. me a show fair yeah <laughs> i feel so bad they'd be washing dishes i make top of them give me a show i want to laugh mm-hmm. tonight. i, I kind of want to be the funnier one in a relationship like that's fair oh that's true i don't want them to be funnier than oh me. you know what you're right Jealous. i like being funny i think i might have to say goodbye then i'm saying bye to that one sorry okay next one like is... i want to laugh like imagine not laughing at all like imagine he doesn't laugh at your jokes like obviously funny but why are i you have to comedian? be funnier yeah that's true okay i want to be funnier than you like yeah. hello <laughs> The next one is, oh, this one's interesting. The simping gentleman. So he's lots of praising. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Me personally. How much though? I mean, maybe too much. Is there too much? Is that a thing? I know, like, for me, I know, like, my, like, love language is, like, words of affirmation. So if someone <gasps> says I'm pretty, I'm like, ah, really? Like, I turn to a whole other person. Like, my boys, octaves, they go high. That's true. I'm like, stop it. Stop it. Tell me more. So, like, it's possible I might be into that. But if it's too much, no. For me, there can never be it too much. It can never much. be too much praise. Never too much. Never you have too a praise much. Kink. Is it a praise kink? No, I'm just calling. Call sure. you. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't no, know. Yeah, that makes sense with your love language. If you want somebody that's always like telling you that you look so pretty, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you can't really get annoyed like of compliments. You could. I know you could. I probably. Could. I know you get annoyed after a while. Yeah. So it's like you're so pretty before they go to, you go to bed. 
You're so gorgeous. I know. Yeah, it <laughs> you just, literally it's literally too though. much sometimes. Like now you're putting on a show. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna sound so it. picky, but like me personally, the over complimenting, the over simping, it's like oh, okay. Yeah, like, that's enough. <laughs> so I would say swipe, but you would. No, that but I do love compliments. You know, words of affirmation is up there. It's not the top, but that's fair. I get it. It's okay. It's okay. 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 The next one is the provider, aka Vanny. Does that mean he's older? Oh, I guess. Yep, older in a way. When I think of provider, I think of somebody like taking care of me. He's older. Okay. He's looking after me. Almost. Who's that at that? In this I know. Economy? <laughs> Literally. Why I want that? Have you seen the gas prices? <laughs> oh, I need a yeah, provider. Let me fill up this tank. <laughs> no, literally. Buy me them groceries. <laughs> Buy me groceries. Inflation is inflating. I will, I'll do, do the cooking. Yes, I'll, I'll do, do the, the cleaning. cleaning. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. <laughs> No, no, actually, maybe I need a provider. Somebody <laughs> please provide for me. I have no money. <laughs> please provide for me. I need someone to pay my mortgage. <laughs> Put some more on my cup. No, I have to get the cup. <laughs> please help an old English boy. I love you, sir. Come here, sonny. Please, sonny. So, <laughs> smash, smash some change, sir. I can get with him. I'd do it. But honestly, I like... Some more, sir. The idea of a zaddy is good. I'm crying. That's funny. How old, though? I'm oh, sorry. I could if you do came old, up in this house... I could do so old. <laughs> No, like, no, like, Don't like I could me. do like, like all this I do is forty, obviously. Forty years old. Forty is not even that. Girl, old. how old are you? No, say it. Say it with your chest. Say how old you are. I'm twenty-one. You're twenty-one. Say it again. 21. Louder in the mic. I'm twenty-one. <laughs> you are forty-year-old. I, I said this is the oldest I would do. Like I said, like I would stop there. Not near me. Like not while I'm your sister. Not, that bad. not while I'm your sister. <sighs> I will tell him to walk out. Could be your child, but he's providing. I don't care. <laughs> I'll buy you your croissants. Okay, <laughs> no, he's providing no. For me. I'm sorry. Okay, me well. on the other hand. <laughs> <gasps> okay, yeah. Why are you getting mad at me? She, guys, she's. There's some things you will not. She's done. <laughs> yeah. She's done stuff. <laughs> She says the best you will not say not in this house. Not in this house. You will not say in this okay, house. Okay, my lips are sealed. Keep your mouth sealed. I know you live. I know you sleep. I know what you eat. <sighs> okay, I don't want to reveal too much, but you won't. I think but you're not dating a forty-year-old. You're not gonna tell me what to do. No, you have a, you have a bracket of ages. You're not dating an old person. <sighs> I think I would. I would. I'd swipe. I'd swipe. Yeah. There's an age bracket for you, but you can swipe. <laughs> okay. You can do provided, not the zaddy part. I'll do both. Thank you. No, thank you. As y'all have clearly witnessed, I've played a lot of boyfriend asmr on this channel but now <laughs> vex and i are literally going to transform <laughs> into some boyfriends please hold for brad and chad please hold It's a new style I found, and I oh. thought it was like so good. Like, Yo, that goatee. Yeah, it's. I'm rocking it for now. Like after November ended, Yo. I was like, I gotta do this now. November, dude. I know. That's right, Thank dude. You. <laughs> what is it, <this? laughs> dude? Hold my hand, dude. No, because I love you. I love you, you dude. so much, man. No, dude. I love you so much. No, like, I'm literally gonna cheat on my girlfriend uh, for you, dude. You have a girlfriend? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Bro. I've been looking for one, man. Yo, the streets are so tough. These girls, they're trifling. Oh, uh, dude, should it hurts we, me. Should we try to riz up, like, the audience or something? Oh, I'm down. Let's. I'm, like, like totally down. Oh, I'm more than down. I'm not like other boys. Like, no. I am not like dude, other I'm boys. I'm Kappa Kappa down. Oh, down. down. Yo, <laughs> tap me up, dude. I'm left-handed dude, still. Dude, it's okay. I'm okay. Give me a hand <laughs> up, dude. Let me go first. I'm ready. I'm listening. Bro, kiss me if I'm wrong, but Earth is... For sure, flat. Oh, that was good. That, <laughs> that was, was good. good bro. No, dude, you go. Okay, you okay, go. okay, okay my okay. turn. <clears throat> Listen, girl. Oh, that's good. I don't care if you're vegan. Oh, yeah? I got the only meat you'll ever need. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's crotchy. Yo, dude, that's Yo, crotchy. Yeah, dirty. She's down? Yo, she's down, bro. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, dude, I gotta fix my pants. Balls are getting stuck to my legs, dude. <laughs> that's rough, man. STL, you know what I'm talking about? I don't, man. I take showers. Oh, my pants fit right. Dude, I don't shower. That's disgusting. I, like, bathe in my sweat, dude. That's it's actually gross. so good, dude. I'm, like, in to self care and like face routines. No, <laughs> you being dirty is actually kind of gross. Dude, like, dirty. Let's actually. Can you raise me up again? <laughs> oh. Something else. Okay, dude, you're not ready for this one. Did you guys read this, by the way, dude? I saw it. Read I was it, like, dude. you're hilarious. Read it. Read it for Oh them. my gosh. What okay. It say? <laughs> it says. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol, you later. <laughs> Dude, I was hooking up with a bunch of chicks last night. That's what? nice. <laughs> so they asked me when I'm going to get a call back. Dude, I say, babe, alcohol, you later. That's like funny. Honestly, I would like like it if you like respect women more. But Dude. like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, you you're know? so right. Or am I? I actually Do you believe you, that? Bro. I love you more. Can I raise you up again? I'm ready. Oh, you're so, you're not ready. ready. Where's Let me my hat? Yes. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I used to have to chase butterflies. But bro, now you're over here bringing them right to me, dude. Wait, butterflies? Dude, you get it? I, I don't. Neither do I do. Okay. But, like, you're such a bro. Thank you. Oh, bro. <laughs> okay, raise me up again. Okay, like, okay. This okay. one you're not even ready for because you're going to like just freak out. I'm going to kappa kappa freak out. Honestly, okay. Okay, bro, go ahead. Gotta fix these pants. My balls are. So you should stuck. really consider taking showers. Dude, I hate showering. Shower That's with me, bro. And don't touch my. Bro, hands. touch. I'm me. gonna raise you now. Okay, okay. raise me up, dude. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you? Dude, sure. Go ahead. You're supposed to say why. Oh, dude, sorry. Restart, dude. <laughs> oh sorry. Gosh. Didn't get the memo. Restart. <laughs> <laughs> dude, go. Dude, go. Dude, go. <laughs> raise me up. Okay. Can I take your picture? Bro, why? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lick your lips like okay, that. I didn't lick my. Okay. I'm uncomfortable. Dude, dude. I need an adult. I am an adult. Stop <laughs> hitting me. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Um. Sorry. So, like, can I take your picture? Dude, why do you want my picture? Cause I need to show. Oh! <laughs> dude. Sorry. Dude, don't grab bro's chin like that. That's sussy. <laughs> You're a sussy baka for that, dude. What's wrong with that, dude? I love you, bro. Bro, do you like like me? What if I do? Bro, I don't shower though, bro. Honestly, that part is a big detail for me, but still. Anyways, but dude, <clears throat> I didn't finish. Sorry, bro. Keep going. I need to show Santa what I want for Christmas. And what do you, bro? <laughs> bro, you like me like that, bro? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Dude, I'm riz. Yeah, I win. I win. Bro, bro's rizzing me good right now. You're welcome. That's my what happens when you take showers. My balls are getting stuck to my legs again. Yeah, that's what happens when you take showers. I don't shower. Get over here, bro. What if we did our own, like, like ASMR, bro? Bro. <laughs> no, you're actually okay. my bro, bro. Let's do it. Okay, I'm ready okay, to there's like, There's, like, two, like two situations okay tell me so like whatever one's like the most hot like you can get with i'm down okay. okay i'm down the first one is like your cuddly boyfriend wants to tell you how much he loves you before you fall asleep oh i love that one okay bro wait there's another one bro okay your strong dominant boyfriend comforts you when you're feeling super stressed dude i think like you should be the second one second one because i'm stressed right now super stressed really do you want me to stressed. go first Go, go for okay, it. Okay, I need ready. you to like 
respond as if you're my girlfriend. Bro. Oh, no problem. But no homo, bro. No homo, bro. But be my girlfriend, bro. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. I've been born for this. Oh, you were, bro. <laughs> okay. I'm the strong, dominant one. Remember I'm feeling that, bro. super stressed. Let me get into it. I'm ready, okay? <laughs> I'm <Dude>. so stressed. <laughs> Yo, babe, dude. You're going to hit me? Get in character. Sorry. <laughs> dude, bro. I'm just like feeling like so like stressed right now. Like, <laughs> calm down, bro. Let Chad show you who's bad. <laughs> I'm like more stressed all of a why, sudden. Why are you stressed? Why are you? Because like me? life is like hard and like I just like to, people are so rude. They're so rude. Babe, I get that. It's okay. Why don't you let Chad calm you down? With some ASMR. Is it working, bro? Honestly, no, but it's okay. I think. <laughs> like, okay, dude, since you're the pro. No, like, you're not strong. You're not dominant. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll try. I mean, okay, fine. I'll try again, dude. Let me be no, strong. No, it's okay. Dominant. We can just go to. No, I'll be... oh, one more time. One, one more time, dude. I think I'll do this better. One more I mean, time. I think I'll do this better than I'll you. I'll do bro. it one more time. Give me one more chance. <sighs> be stressed. Be my girlfriend. And I'm going to be dominant and strong. I want this to be good. It'll be good. I got this. <laughs> Stop crying, babe. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy wants to. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <clears throat> Stop crying, babe. And why don't you sit on Daddy's lap, bro? Because daddy's strong and dominant. Okay. Evil, you know, like, telling me the qualities. <laughs> Dude, okay, okay bro, bro. It's okay, it's okay. You, you know go. what? I will I will be the cuddly boyfriend. Go ahead, bro. I'll tell you how much I love you before you go to bed. Okay, I'm going to be the girlfriend, though. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. Are you ready, bro? I'm ready. <sighs> oh, are you going to bed, babe? Yeah. Okay, before you do, I just want to... I have actually... A song I have for you. Sing it. This is my guitar, okay? You look so beautiful today when you were just like chilling. I just had a song. <laughs> when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> when I see your face. Oh, bro. It's not a thing that I would change. Okay. No. <laughs> don't. Don't. It says cuddly. It says cuddly. Okay, bro. Go ahead. Just the way you are. Yo, bro. Are. <laughs> You win, you win. I love winning. Yeah, bro. You have to manspread. I know how. I get why they. I mean, I. Yeah, I'll manspread. <laughs> I think you won that boyfriend ASMR. Maybe you should be my boyfriend and. Do I really? But maybe we should like close up the episode so that like they don't catch it on camera, bro. Sure. Mistletoe moment. Oh, dude, <laughs> I'm super hyped for that. You better so be. like. <laughs> if you're watching this and if you're like a babe hit chad and brad up and like maybe we can like have a like three-way or something it'd be super rad but like that's not what i had planned oh. <laughs> if okay. you love this episode give it like a like dude like a big old fat like yo man. make it a fatty kappa kappa <laughs> like <laughs> comment down below like you're typing man even though I know it's probably me and Chad. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah, me. I'm not sure about you, but I, me It's probably sure. me. I'm the hotter one. Anyways, thank you so much for coming by. Yo. I'll it, see you later. It was rad. And it I think, rad. like, you're supposed to, like, stay thirsty or something. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So stay thirsty. keep it thirsty, babe. <laughs> Chad and Brad. We're out. Dude, that rocked. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the whole the hand holding. Yeah.